Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Sama lagi perbincangan kita uh, Dalam rotation of rigid body Example 3 During a certain period of time The angular displacement of a swinging door Is described by So the equation is Theta is equals to 2t square plus 10t plus 5 Where Theta is in radian And T is in second Okay, so theta is in radian, t is in second. To the last SI unit, determine the angular displacement, the angular speed, and the angular acceleration at time t three second. So. Let's say this is question A, B, and C. Question A, minta kita cari angular displacement theta semasa time t 3 second. So, ini kita boleh cari dengan mudah. Sebab sekarang ni dia dah bagi equation theta is equals to 2t square plus 10t plus 5. So, we need to substitute T is equals to 3 into this equation. 2 times 3 square plus 10 times 3 plus 5. And the angular displacement at time 3 second is 53 radian. So, ini sebenarnya bila soalan cakap at time 3 second, at specific time. Salah je, specific time. Macam salah je lagi, tapi tak apa. Uh, ini adalah instantaneous. Angular displacement. Okay, maksudnya. Uh, angular displacement pada masa yang spe specific. So, pada B pula. Angular speed at time 3 second. So, ini basically dia nak instantaneous angular velocity ataupun angular speed. Okay, so angular speed maksudnya kita tak payah nak tahu direction dia clockwise ataupun anti-clockwise. Now, according to the definition, angular velocity or angular speed is defined as the rate of change of angular This displacement and we already know that the angle theta is given by 2t square plus 10t plus 5 so we need to differentiate equation theta 2t square plus 10t plus 5 so if we differentiate this equation we end up with omega is equals to 2 bawa ke depan jadi 4 tinggal 1 part t tambah 1 bawa ke depan 10 kali 1 10 tinggal kosong t kosong 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 5 tak ada apa apa so equation for omega is 4t plus 10 and at time t is equals to 3 second the angular speed is 4 times 3 plus 10 And the answer is 22 radian per second. So that is the value of angular speed at time 3 second. And for question C, we need to find the angular acceleration at time t is equal to 3 second. From the definition, Angular acceleration is defined as the rate of angular velocity. So, from question B, we know that omega is equals to 4t plus 10. So, we need to differentiate the function 
omega is equals to 40 plus 10. Okay. So, differentiate uh, equation ni kita akan dapat. Okay. So, 1 bawa ke depan jadi 4. 4, 1 jadi kosong. So, T kosong kosong kosong. 10 kita boleh cancelkan. So, automatically kita akan dapat alpha is equals to 4 radian per second. Now, value ini sebenarnya adalah con constant. Tak kira pada masa apa sekalipun uh, value angular acceleration pada uh, objek ini adalah constant for radian per second square. So, that's all for example 3. Now, kalau kamu tak faham maksudnya kamu tak tahu cara nak differentiate saya rasa sila Bincangkan dengan cikgu-cikgu kamu uh, macam mana cara nak differentiate function uh, di dalam kelas tutorial dengan lebih uh, jelas. Itu saja untuk video kali ini. Untuk video yang akan datang, kita akan bincangkan tentang equation of motion dan ini kita akan fokus pada kinematics. Uh, ada lagi tiga example untuk kita bincangkan. So, saya harap pelajar semua dapat salin nota dan take note apa yang kamu tak faham semasa menonton video ini ok so saya tak suruh kamu tengok video ni suka-suka saja study video ni now if you don't understand uh, sila take note secara spesifik mana yang kamu tidak faham that's all for this video thank you for watching